Gary Johnson here, and welcome to Fresh Manna. The word of the Lord for today comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse number 5. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God, and as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Notice that phrase. As long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Who made him to prosper? God did. Now, this is a foreign concept to many people in the church world today. The idea that God would take upon himself the responsibility to cause us, to make us prosperous, foreign to so many. Now, he's not simply said that he would provide us with a good job. No. We're talking about the Lord proactively placing his hand of blessing upon us and causing us to prosper. Wow. Now, there is a condition attached to this because this verse states, as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Implication is if you're not seeking the Lord, if you're not doing what he's directing you to do, then he won't cause you to prosper. But as long as you are seeking him, he will cause you to prosper. Jesus ministered this same thought in uh, Matthew 6, verse 33, where he said, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So if you put the advancement of God's kingdom first place, God will make sure. He will take the responsibility of making sure that everything you need and more is added to you. We see this same principle in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, where it says, You will remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto your fathers as it is this day. God will give you power and anointing to get wealth. Why? So he can establish his covenant. He's going to place an anointing for wealth upon you. He's going to cause you to prosper us. And then, working through us, he's going to tell us what to do, where to do it, when to do it, and that king, his kingdom will be advanced. So if you put the advancement of his kingdom first place in your life, then God is going to cause you to prosper far beyond anything you ever dreamed was possible. In Jesus' name.